YouTube, YouTube was in it. This your boyfriend need a chicken in. And drive the load out here in Alabama. Lowe's looking real. They ain't looking too good down here in the South, man. But I want to have a little discussion, you know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> this ain't like, the video ain't really, you know, it ain't to get no sympathy or nothing like that. I just want to get y'all my experience as far as what I went through at one point, you know what I'm saying, when I started driving. So, when I started driving, you know, I heard all this stuff, like, even, like, from my granddaddy, you know, he most definitely was, you know, big, you know, inspiration, motivation, all that, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really get too much, you know, I got a whole lot of good in that what will, will come, you know, with truck driving, so... I can truly say, like, when I, around the time I first started driving, I'm not going to say when I first started, but, like, them first two years, I most definitely felt myself going to, like, a a depression stage. And I'm, I'm going to tell you why. A lot of us, we get out here on the road, and we just, you know what I'm saying? It's like you run. This what you want to do. You want to make the money. You want to, you know what I'm saying, really be up there. You want to really get active, you know, enjoy life. And that's what a lot of us feel like it is. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but that's if you go the right direction. I started out with a couple companies. You know what I'm saying? They weren't doing too good. You know, the pay was straight, but it was like the amount of work you had to put in. The amount of sacrifices. You know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, it just it almost just seemed like you living to drive for somebody else. And that's one of the main reasons why... I went to go get my own trucks and I went, you know what I'm saying, and chose leasing options. And I felt like if I ran too much, I no longer want to drive a truck. I dealt with it with US Express. And I really did get to a point where it was just like, bro, it just seemed like I'm driving for these people and they take away a whole lot of life. This is what a lot of companies, I'm pretty sure a lot of drivers deal with it. So you get with a company and it's like you consistently like you consistent. It's like you might get 34 hours off. That's it. Just just so you could do a reset. And then they have it set up also where it's like, yeah, you drive trucks, but you don't get no paid time off. That's what certain companies. I know you get some companies out there that give you paid time off, but it's some that will not give you paid time off. So if you take off, you know what I'm saying, for a week, you just don't get paid. But who wanna go a week without getting paid? You know what I'm saying? And then if your job really not paying like that. Then you spending a lot more money on vacation. You worried about, okay, when I get back on the road, am I going to make the money? Am I going to make it up? You know, I got to work extra hard now. You know, it just seemed like it was a bunch of running around. And it just, you know, when I got with Swift coming on, that was really, I had a Tuesday off. My only off day was a Tuesday. And it just, you know, it started to hit me when I was missing people's birthdays family um you know holidays is like yeah you still gotta work christmas you know you might come in a little bit later on christmas but you still gotta work christmas you still gotta work thanksgiving valentine's days and it was just i seen like slowly like before when i was doing my little past stuff i wasn't worried about time but it's like the more and more i start driving trucks everything is a time so even if i go out to eat and you know i'm just chilling with family it's like okay i gotta go to work tomorrow so i don't need to be in this restaurant longer than two hours i really don't need to eat that much because i'm gonna end up having to go back to work tomorrow i don't need my stomach messed up it's like your time with family become minimized and then it's like oh yeah you're a truck driver that's what you sign up for you sacrifice you know what i'm saying family time but all the time that's why i feel like a lot of companies that's where it go dead at because it's you can't take somebody's whole life and put it in a truck and say, this is your career. This is the only thing you got time for. We give you 34 hours at home. That's it. When it came down the road runner, it just, you get this little bit of time at home. You already know you take two. If you stay at home too long, the truck payment get behind. That's what any lease. Yeah, I get home. Truck payment. Like when you get to the point where you're in a company or with a, with a, with a, with a job and you really can't. You know what I'm saying? Live life. Everything is just pay bills. You can't spend money or what clothes and stuff that you buy because you constantly at work. That's how I've been for years. 
my clothes right now are ridiculous. And it's only because I work, I buy stuff I like, and I never wear it because I'm always on the road. And that will drive you into a depression because you don't have time. Like, I was barely getting time with family. That was my number one thing. Then I can't take vacations like other people because I'm constantly working. I'm constantly pushing myself. I'm constantly, you know what I'm saying, every week, 3,000 miles, 4,000 miles. Take a 34 at home. Next thing you know, you're getting a low 4, 5 o'clock at night. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's why I end up switching over to lease. Even when I was in my own truck. When you got your own truck, you better have everything down packed. A to Z. Everything better be on point. You got to make sure your maintenance is up. You got to make sure your taxes. You got to make sure your truck is up to par. You got to... I ain't going to lie. Running two trucks or, you know what I'm saying, me and one having somebody else have another one, that shit drove me to a depression. Like, damn, like, you can spend all this money on one truck. Then, boom, you driving. A week later, the other one break down. You just got whatever they just... You know what I'm saying? Whatever the problem was, you just got it fixed, but they didn't do it right. So, boom, you turn around. You're going back to get that fixed. Then, while that one down, the other truck go down. It's just like, man, not not the BS, man. A lot of people, I'm on our this, I own our that. That good for you. I done did that route before. I done took it before. At the time that I did that, I just wasn't ready. Mentally, I wasn't ready. Um, I didn't know half the stuff I know now when I had my own trucks. If I would have known that, I would have most definitely took, you know, a whole different route, did a whole different thing. You know what I'm saying? But as far as everything, it was just like that. It was just like, yeah, you got the money. But when you keep putting money into something and it's taken away for another goal, is you know, it can it can become hectic. And then, you know, when you try to have a relationship and people doing stuff on you or whatever like that, you're trying to keep your mind focused on work. But at the same time, you got other stuff going on at home. It just, it can throw you off and then, you know, next thing you know, you got to cancel out whatever, you know what I'm saying, is interfering with, which, you know, your major goal in life as an individual, you know what I'm saying? So, that's why I ended up, once again, doing a lease. I came to USA and I'm not going to lie, like, it's more laid back than any other company I done been with, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it's a lot more of the companies out there, but this one right here laid back. I don't have too much of a stress too much of a, you know what I'm saying? I don't really have to worry about nothing. It's like somebody else asks, like, bro, why you get a brand new truck? It's four years to pay off. I don't really have to worry about the maintenance. My maintenance account, good. I got the 500,000 mile warranty. Bumper to bumper. Like, they told me anything go wrong with this truck is dealt with. You know what I'm saying? Like, you pay for it because they only give you the 300,000 mile warranty. But this one right here is the 500,000. So it's like, that's just, you know, just partial of what I had to, what I was like going through, what I was dealing with. The main thing is just when you just all about work and you unhappy, you're not really getting the pay that you desire. You know, they treat you any type of way. And this, that, and the third, that's why I start breaking out with the YouTube videos. Cause like I really just became fed up with these people can make millions and trillions off of drivers and then turn around and tell somebody. Bro, you work all week for me. You take a 34-hour break, and we're going to give you $700 to $1,000 a week. That's just not how this shit go. You know what I'm saying? We as essential workers, we should be getting top dollar coming out the gate. $1,000 minimum. That's coming out the gate. You need us for everything. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I started feeling about this. Because, like, without a truck, don't nothing move. For the longest, my granddaddy used to say that. Bro, without a truck, don't nothing move. So, just uh, close the video out. Man, if you all chill on the road and you're not happy or you're not satisfied with the way they're treating you, how, how your money looking, your situation, if you feel like, bro, we living in the last days and I don't want to get biblical, but we are. And the thing is, we need to have as much time with family, friends, all that enjoy life. We are not supposed to be confined to a truck and getting paid bare minimum, getting, you know what I'm saying, treated any type of ways. So, if you are not comfortable, in the situation that you're in, it's time to transition. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go ahead and close the video out. I just want to go ahead, you know what I'm saying, share it with y'all. Because I was sitting up here and I was just thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? I just got the phone my homeboy. He's telling me a bunch of little stuff. And I'm like, bro, to be honest, if you ain't got to deal with it, you ain't got to deal with it. You got to see the year. You know what I'm saying? That could take you a long ways. You know what I'm saying? So when it's time to move and maneuver, then do it. The longer you sit, the longer, you know what I'm saying, you're going to start to put yourself 
into a place that you don't want to be and then that place that you don't want to be can push you to having a mindset of something you would have never thought you would have had before they're just like me you know what i'm saying well really right now i'm in a great space i'm clear like i'm clear-minded and i can actually go out and do what i want to do now you know what i'm saying but you know what i'm saying um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and close this out god bless y'all you know what i'm saying i appreciate y'all for watching please go like share subscribe comment all that good stuff or whatever like that if you agree with your boy drop a hundred down below in that comment section and i'm most definitely checking in with y'all next one